Dipaji, you you come from a very unique background, starting early days with aerospace and defense, where there there were clearly defined standards and processes in place. Now you are in the industrial domain where yeah. connected world we are playing around. Now the safety security game from a standards point of view, how that is playing out, you know, as as a from a totally different domain to this side when you're coming. What are the connects challenges? Can you explain? Yeah, Shinto actually. in aerospace and defense as you know uh, the information security operational security confidentiality integrity availability these were the important aspects and they are going to remain there uh, but uh, now from the when i joined the service industry you no know, i found that uh, this cia words are not only associated just with aerospace and defense uh, rather uh, many industries so let it be from the medical let it be from the mining or uh, from the telecom or energy utilities and so on uh this confidentiality uh, confidentiality integrity and availability are also making more impact because uh many of the industries are now changing the plan of most of the solutions which were traditionally available on premises are now they are moving towards cloud and the moment most of the solutions when moves to the cloud then this cyber security and information security comes into picture uh predominantly so in my opinion i think the information security or functional safety aspects as well as cyber security aspects are no more keenly associated with aerospace and defense applications only but rather they are equally important for this other domain applications as well and now i feel that there are some a reverse trend also is happening some of the industries for example mining industry medical industries are uh, concerns about cyber security to such a extent that uh, they have set up examples in front of the world and aerospace and defense uh, stakeholders are learning from those lessons as well so that kind of trend uh, you can see we are moving from industry 4.0 to industry 5.0 and this trend is more predominant so the interesting part is uh, you know this is one area anybody can build their career peacefully because if not in one vertical in another vertical same engineering skill is yeah useful. yeah that's, that's a lesson for the the youngsters who are trying to pick up yeah. the career in this space and now at at uh, sign i know you are more into what the it related area and uh, particularly industrial security mm. how that is playing out in the indian context can you give some? yeah yeah i i think from the indian context or geography is not playing such an important role honestly speaking because reason wise there are certain compliances which needs to be fulfilled but when you are working with the mnc clients right uh, reason will not play really a big important role because many of your solutions softwares they need to be multi geography compliant right. regional laws will still come into picture but whether you are working with a indian client or mnc client it hardly matters i i don't think it will really going to make much difference as such we're doing the same kind of work with indian customers because uh, the same kind of stringent requirements as far as information security safety and those aspects are also equally important so reason is not playing much important role but rather application is definitely going to play a role and then where your customers are located at uh, so there that regional local laws will anyway play the role but your product need to be globally compliant rather than a particular result compliant so that kind of you know slightly shift you can see in uh, many of the applications many of the projects what we are looking forward and as far as science is concerned science is from the beginning science was uh, science in fact we have the separate practice on cyber security uh, we have got a big team of ic62443 we have got the information security management system uh, auditors as well are there i am myself i am iso27001 certified ims uh, lead auditor as well as i am a functional safety certified uh, resource so like me there are some other resources as well inside and when a new product development comes into picture or when we are basically responding to responding to any rfp from a international customer then cyber security clause are there uh, this basically compliances uh, people like me we come together we work together and then file the response and of course the same thing same terminology happens when we really start into implementation phase so there are some compliance framework we ourselves have developed in house and we rigorously followed them while developing any product or any solutions for our customers at sign good great talking to you thank you very thank you much thank you very much